Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about intervals. I'm going to tell you what intervals are, what types of intervals there are, and how to identify those types of intervals. Let's get it on. Okay, let's start with the basics. An interval, in a sense, is just the distance between two notes, like C and E. That's an interval. C to G, that's an interval. That's basically what you need to know about what an interval is. Just the dis distance between two different notes. Any note, th doesn't matter. It could be C to C. It could be C to a higher C, C to a lower C. You get the picture. Now I'm going to tell you about what types of intervals there are. There's basically intervals for firsts, seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, and eighths. First, fourths, fifths, and eighths are all perfects. Perfect first is a no known as a unison. A perfect fourth is a perfect fourth. A perfect fifth is a perfect fifth. And a perfect eighth is an octave. Seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths, however, aren't so perfect. They go by the name basis of majors and minors. You can have a major second and a minor second, a major third, a minor third, major sixth, minor sixth, major seventh, minor seventh. Very simple. Now also with all these intervals, you can augment them and diminish them. We call them augmented and diminished intervals. An augmented interval is if you were to raise the top note by a half step or lower the bottom note by a half step. A diminished interval, you raise to the bottom note by a half step or lower the top note by a half step. Really easy. Now I'm going to teach you how to identify each interval, or at least how I identify each interval. Okay, to identify a perfect unison, it just sounds like this. Just one note. It can be any note. It's a perfect unison. Now, to identify a major second, it sounds like this. My music theory class likes to call it Flipper, because it's like the happy version of Jaws, if you will. Now, to do a minor second, it sounds like this. Just listen for Jaws. Not that hard. Now, a major third sounds like this. Sounds like the beginning to an arpeggio of a scale. It's basically what you're listening for. At least, that's what I listen for. A minor third sounds like this. It also is the beginning to Clarity Loon by Cloud Debussy. Perfect fourth sounds like this. It also sounds like Here Comes the Bride, like this. A perfect fifth sounds like this. It's basically just Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle. Now, a major sixth sounds like this. I don't really know how to identify it. I just know it doesn't sound like anything else that I've listened to, so. Now, a minor sixth sounds like this. You're listening for uh, The Entertainer by uh, Scott Joplin. A major seventh sounds like this. I like it because it always... My music teacher likes to think of it going as the note wants to go up and finish. I just listen to it kind of sounding like spacious ambience music. I don't know. A minor seventh just sounds like it wants to go down. And uh, it just sounds weird. But cool. A perfect eighth sounds like this. Also known as an octave, just listen for a low note and a high note that sound exactly the same. That's basically the breakdown of what intervals are, what types of intervals there are, and how to identify each interval. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Skadoosh.